Hello, hello everyone. My name is Melissa Faust from stampwithmelissa.com. Welcome to today's YouTube video. Um, if you've seen my videos before, you may have noticed that I'm starting in a different spot than I usually do. <laughs> usually I sit at my desk right there and you can see this beautiful shelf behind me, right? Well, today's video, um, well, I'm not sitting at my desk because we're not crafting in today's video. Sorry, spoiler alert, no crafting in this video, okay? <laughs> if you do want a crafting video for me, I have tons available, so go check those out. But we are going to talk all about organization today because people ask me all the time, like, where'd you get that? How do you store this, etc." So we're gonna talk all about organization today and I'm also going to do a little bit of a craft room tour update. So I don't anticipate this video being super lengthy, although let's be honest, I can talk. Um, <laughs> uh, but I want to give you a little bit of an update. So let me start off in February. I think it was February 2022. I put out a video on YouTube, a full craft room tour, and I went in like every drawer behind all of my cabinet doors, every bin, everything, and I showed you exactly how I store things. I'm going to link that video down in the description box below because I'm not doing that in this one. We're going to do more of a high level overview because as you may have noticed, if you are familiar with me, if you've seen that video before, you may have noticed that things look a little bit different. Uh, yeah, because sometimes I can't just keep things the, the same and I have to change it. So <laughs> it, we, here we are like a year and a half later and I have updated things. Okay. Uh, and so I want to show you what I've updated. And then I also want to talk a little bit more about the organization, um, that I use, which actually I think for the most part, like I'm trying to look around and see if anything is different, but for the most part, all of the organization I use is the same as when I put that craft room tour video out in 2022. Um, and that's just how much I stand by it, how much I love it. Um, some things have been updated, right? I've painted some things white since that video and things like that, but minor minuscule things, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of pan you around. I'm hoping to be able to set my phone up steady, right? Like it is right now, uh, so you can see things and don't get like motion sick. Uh, but I probably will have to hold my phone for a couple of the shots just so I can show you up close and personal and whatnot. So let me go ahead and just kind of pan my craft room here so you can see what it looks like now. Okay, I've got the super wide lens on here so you can see. So this is new. This little unit right here, which is right on the inside of my door, that's new. And then I also moved these shelves, which used to be over here. Um, I moved those, right? And then I also have my big bookcase here, which was moved. So this big bookcase right here, sorry, we're gonna spin you, here's my door, used to be here. Now you can see I'm in the basement, so we've got this, what is this, like a support ledge or something? I don't know. Anyway, I've got this and it runs all the way on this wall and all the way on this wall. There's my window, hey window. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm in the basement, right? That's why I like to keep that open and everything. So anyway, so that piece used to be all the way up here. These shelves, so there was this long one all the way across and then two half ones, right? And those used to be, trying to go slow so I don't make anybody dizzy, those used to be here. So I used to keep some stuff here. Um, there were some storage items down here right on the floor. And then there was like a half shelf, a half shelf, and then the full shelf went all the way across. Actually, I used the same brackets for the full shelf that used to be there. I um, have them now on that half shelf. So that is kind of what changed there. You can see that by adding that other shelf, which I'll show you in a second, I cleared up a lot of space on this big guy, right? I've got two completely empty shelves. Now up here, um, at the time I'm filming this, I actually just got home from the Stampin' Up! Incentive trip to Norway. And I think I'm going to use this shelf as like my memorabilia shelf. So that's a cute card that my team member Alicia Markfort made for me. And so that's already up there because, you know, you got to start it off right. <laughs> oh, there's thunder in the background. Sorry if you can hear that. Um, but then this shelf is going to be for stamp sets from the mini catalog, which is not out yet. Uh, but it will be out, you know in a few months or so. So, okay, so that's the shelf up here. Of course, I've got my Home Alone Lego set because I love it and it goes way up high on the shelf because it's like thick, like it's a big set. Um, probably the biggest Lego set I've ever built and so it needs to be protected. So Home Alone is like one of my favorite movies of all time, especially it's my favorite Christmas movie. 
Uh, don't make me pick between Home Alone 1 or 2 because I can't do it. Because uh, New York City is one of my favorite cities and number 2 takes place there. So, you know, you can never... You can never beat the original, but also when the sequel is in New York City, I don't know how you beat that. So <laughs> anyway, so that is, you know, it gets to just hang out all year long. Now let me spin over here. And this is the shelf that I added, okay? So just by adding this one shelf, I've cleared up so much space. So down here on the bottom, you can see I've got some cleaning up to do, but these are all of my kits collection or my paper pumpkins that need to be put together. These items here are my mom's crafting tools. Can you believe she can fit them on two little shelves? <laughs> Up here, you can see it goes all the way to the back. I keep all of my envelopes. And then over here, these are actually retired 3D items, but I thought they were kind of neat. Like I could do some fun things for them for my niece and nephew for school or for birthdays or something like that. So I kept those. This shelf here has, um, sorry, here, let me set you down. Okay, I set you down so I don't have to move you now. So I have these two bins right here. They're both empty right now, but this is actually where I store my class stuff. So like I'll store my cl card club in here until it's shipped out. I'll store my stamp camp stuff in here. Um, and that includes like my projects, my sample projects. It also includes the product. Um, eventually I hope to, you know, sell more, right? And, uh, just being honest. <laughs> uh, and so hopefully I'll have to buy more of these to have them fill over into this space. But Back here, these are little chalkboard labels that I need to put on. I've got business cards and postcards back there. And then these are all my packaging things. So like, these are my cellophane bags for when I have to package up six by six paper. These are for, you know, my card kits, all that stuff. So I've got a bunch of packaging in here, uh, particle board, clear envelopes, all that fun kind of stuff there, okay? Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what this shelf does. And then it's really nice, we're gonna go up now. What's really nice is this top section is really clean right now. It usually isn't, but I can actually put, like I can uh, lay out card kits on here. I will lay out my club, right? So I'll get one of these little baskets or I have a bigger one and I'll put all the kits there and then I'll put all the paper and then all the ribbon and embellishments and the first timer gifts and the six month gifts and all that. I'll lay it all out. And then as I package it, I just grab one. Okay, so that's really nice. It also, this ends up being a catch-all or when my mom, she'll help me sometimes cut the, well, actually all the time, like every kit that I send, she helps with. Um, and she'll stand here and she'll die cut or emboss things from the top of this because it's really nice standing level and all that. So back here, you can see this is my ink carousel with all of the retired Stampin' Up! colors that I have. I've got the... <laughs> that's a mess. It's just cards I need to deal with. A lot of them are swap cards. Um, this is a sneak peek of a club card right up there. And then these are my extra embellishments. So sometimes you might wonder like, what do I do when I'm trying to decide like what free embellishment or whatever to do? Well, this is where I store all of my extra embellishments. So you can see like I've got one pack of these. So if I run out in my own personal stash, I'll pull from here, right? But you can see like I have several of these whatever. And so sometimes if I don't know what embellishment to use for a class, I'll just look at like, what do I have a bunch of? And then that's what I'll use so I can get rid of them. So, okay. Going up a little bit, I've got this shelf up here, which has, these are actually kits that I, um, like I'll sometimes make extras of. I don't do it as often anymore, but sometimes I'll make extras of kits. And so I will store them in here. I've got some stamp and seal refills in here. Uh, this is some miscellaneous stuff. These are a bunch of 3D, I know it says cards. Funny, this was for my high school graduation. This was my card bucket. And so I left that on there, but this is actually filled with 3D items. Um, and then this is a cool Stampin' Up! blanket. Neat, right? Okay, and then on the top shelf, I've got my Legos and my Winnie the Poohs. <laughs> and you can't see it go all the way over there because my light is in the way, but you can see my light here. Um, and then you know, all this stuff. So everything is pretty much the same. Okay. So that's why I'm not really going super in depth here because this is the same. I use this drawer the same as what I said before. I use this the same as what I said before that, you know, all of this, I use the same as before. The only difference actually is that bin right there, that wooden crate that actually stores like my seasonal decorations. When I put this in here, there was a spider behind. So hopefully it doesn't crawl out, but you can see, so I've got Ooh, look at that. So these are actually one of the goodies I gave for one of my, um, I think it was for a mystery craft box last year and I had some extras. So I might make some kind of fun project with chapstick later. I won't give those out cause they're old, but you know. Um, so these have, you know, like pumpkins and Christmas trees and whatever. 
no spider came out, so that's good. But anyway, that fits in there. So I, I did move that there before that sat high up on a shelf. Um, this I changed a little bit, the top here. Um, oh, look at that. This was also made by my team member, Alicia Markfort, and I thought it was beautiful. She gave it to me for Christmas. Um, and then this is from my friend Rhonda Wade, and I love it. Turns on. I didn't turn it on before the video. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> um, and then I've got my fun pins up here, and that's the card that started it all. Um, this is like a demonstrator resource, and then, of course, Stampin' Up's mission and a stamp set there. And this top shelf um, is updated with an extra stamp and cut and emboss machine. Don't ask me why I have two, because I don't know. Uh, of course, we've got Ray and Ren up there, a fun little quote, and then my boho blue mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. So that's kind of a decorative shelf there. Okay, but otherwise, this whole shelf is the same. Ribbon is the same. Those punches over there, same. Desk setup, same. Drawer setup, same. Okay, because you find what works for you and that's just what happens. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the organization part of it because um, I get asked a lot about like, you know, where do I get these from? Where did I get that punch holder from? Where did I get, uh, or how do I store my Stampin' Blends? Stuff like that. And I get asked that all the time and they are phenomenal questions. Um, if you couldn't see, I work in a very small craft room. I know that there are people who work in even smaller spaces than I do. I mean, look at my mom. She stores her stuff, stuff on two shelves. <laughs> um, and then there are people who have like three giant bedroom sized rooms, right? And so there's totally just a wide gamut. Uh, but I really think that I have done a good job perfecting a small space craft room. I have uh, optimized, maximized, what is it? Effic efficientized <laughs> every single nook and cranny that I can because that's what I need, right? Like this thing right here, this is a six by six DSP holder and behind it, I've got stuff that I only have to access like once a year, but I need it. And so it stays back there. You know what I mean? So you just got to optimize it all, right? Also total, total just, I'm nuts. Um, remember when I showed you that bin that has stamp and seal refills? This whole entire drawer is filled with them too. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, when you place a larger order and you get Stampin' Rewards, well, I'm always like, oh, I'll just get some refills. Well, when I fixed up my room where it is now, I discovered I have like 50 refills. Who needs 50 refills? I'm set for like a year because I go through like one a week. So <laughs> anyway, so I have to stop buying them now. But okay, so any squirrel, right? If you're new here, I have squirrel moments a lot, but it's okay. Okay, so that's kind of like where we're going, right? Is like, what do I use to store my stuff? Now, all of my furniture, I believe, so my shelf over there, this thing, even these doors, okay, this is not, but these doors here, those, my desk, my, like my drawers and my countertop. Um, let's see what else. That other shelf that I showed you at the start of the video, my new shelf, those are all from Ikea. Now, I know that there are people who have mixed, like, feelings on Ikea, right? Like, I know people who hate that store. I'm not one of them. I love it. <laughs> um, I do. I just, I love it because you can mix and match things for whatever works for you, right? Like, this Calex unit, I have a 3x4, but if you have room for a 5x5, five five, you can get a 5x5. Five five. And if you only have room for a 2x2, two two, you can get a 2x2. Two two. You know, I just love it. So, anyway... Um, also, yeah, like I said, these door doors here are actually add-ons you can get, and they do have door, or I'm sorry, drawer ones too. I don't have any of those, but anyway, so a lot of my stuff, especially furniture-wise, is Ikea. The stuff that is in Ikea, like my shelves that are hanging on the wall, those were already in this room. I don't know where they came from, right? But you can find shelves from anywhere. Um, and then, of course, like my uh, ribbon shelf, or my ribbon storage and this right here, this drawer, my dad built those. So my dad actually built me a few of the items. And then my cool punch storage, which I'm going to pan to show you. This guy back here, that punch storage was actually a gift from me. One of my really good friends gave that to me. It was her mom's and her mom passed away. So she gave that to me with all of those punches on it. So I was pretty lucky. <laughs> and it's actually a carousel, but I didn't have room to put it where I could make it a carousel. So I just put like the punches I'd use the most on the two sides that you can see. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much like that. 
Okay, so what about the other stuff, right? Like, that's the that's the big organization, right? The furniture, that stuff's from Ikea. What about the little stuff? So like, what about, let's see if we can do it. What about this stuff? Okay, let me just pan down. Sorry if I uh, made you a little dizzy here, but what about like this? Like, what do I store my ink pads or my stamp and blends? You know, like, where's this from? Well, for these littler, littler, is that a word? I don't know. For these smaller items, including this guy right here, those are actually from a company called Stampin' Storage, and they are fantastic. So, like, Stampin' Storage, again, just like Ikea, you can mix and match and customize to whatever you need, right? So this is their Stampin' Up! Color Family Ink Pad Storage. Now, Stampin' Up! has 50 colors, right? We've got like four color families that all have 10 ink pads. And then we've got two sets of ink colors that each have five ink colors, right? And so this is perfect. And then I've got some storage up here. This is where I store my black ink pad, my TV remote, my um, stamp for the back of cards. This is my old stamp for the back of cards. And then my niece and nephew like to make cards too. So I have stamps for them, right? And then my post-it note tape for die cutting, okay? So this is all from Stamp and Storage and I love it. Now, when I bought this, this was actually like um, just a natural wood color, I would say. Uh, and Stampin' Storage does now offer, I don't think it's everything, but it's a lot of things. Uh, they do offer it in a white painted finish now. Um, I had already purchased all of this stuff. Honestly, I live maybe two hours away from Stampin' Storage, and they did say I could come and have them paint it. But that would require me like putting all of this in my car, driving there, having them paint it, you know, driving home, driving back, picking it up, and driving home. Like, no. So I just painted it myself. Um, I don't remember what type of paint. Actually, my dad painted it. Um, I don't remember what type of paint we used. I know it was spray paint. I did do a video on this to, like, kind of an updated craft room tour because this happened maybe in the fall sometime. Um, so you can go check that out as well to see. I am i don't know if I mentioned it in there or not, but it took, like, eight to ten cans of spray paint. Um, to paint all of it. So like I've got this, I've got my Stampin' Blends, I've got like a die cutting thing, my ribbon shelf, and then of course, let me spin you back, all of my paper holders. Okay, that's an awful um, angle of me. <laughs> um, so that is what I use for there. So I guess my biggest tip when it comes to organi organization is you have to try what works for you, right? So even with Stampin' Storage, I didn't buy all of the stuff at once. I bought like a couple of pieces, loved them, bought a couple more, loved them, etc. right? So you, I know that's like such a like cliche thing to say, you have to find what works for you, but it's just true. It's just the truth. <laughs> um, and so I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you about that. Um, Cause I do have a lot of people ask me like, how do you do it? Whatever, like wh what do I get, right? I am going to put a blog post together all about today's video as well. That will be linked in the description of this YouTube video. Um, and you can go to that blog post and I'm going to link you to what I use. Okay. So I'm going to link you to like the, maybe not exactly because everyone's needs are different, right? So like my Stampin' Blends holder holds 45, but they also have some that hold 60. They have some that hold less you might need a different amount than I do, okay? Um, so I'm just going to link you to like their stamp and blend storage, their ink pad storage, things like that. Um, and then I'll also link you to some options from Stampin' Up. Now, Stampin' Up did not have um, storage when I bought this stuff. And so they do now have ink pad storage and it kind of combines with marker, like stamp and write markers. Um, and also I think the Stampin' Blends fit in there as well. And then they also have like a topper that you can put your ink refills in. Okay. Um, so I am going to link to both of those so you can check them out and see, you know, how they go, what, what would work best for you, right? Um, the ones from Stampin' Up! are stackable. So you, if you have like a taller area, you, you know, or a skinnier area, you can stack them up taller. If you have like a little spot under a shelf, you can st you know, make them wider, you know, you just get it to work however you want to have them work, I guess. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. Um, I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments if you do have any other questions, or even if you have some tips, um, if you're like, Melissa, you forgot to talk about this. <laughs> Let me know in the comments so that other people who watch this video can go check out the comments and see what other kinds of tips or questions are in there. I will respond to comments. If you do have a question, I will respond as best as I can. So um, yeah, 
All right. So if you like today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. Wow. A big thumbs up. I can't talk today. <laughs> um, and otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to check out that blog post. Uh, link is in the description box below this video. And have a great day. All right. See you next time. Bye for now.